I moved here from Hong Kong where I was designing knitwear in the fashion industry and I didn't have a job when I first came and I took a stained glass class and became obsessed with it. I wanted to start this business so I just slowly started and it was hard at first because I didn't have a portfolio that was, you know, more than a couple of pages and I didn't know a lot of people because I hadn't lived here that long. But slowly but surely I started meeting with architects and interior designers and different people saw my work and they commissioned it and it just kind of grew. When I first started meeting with architects, there were architects that would say, well, we don't really use stained glass. It was hard convincing people to incorporate it into their projects. I just wanted to make it a business and just kept putting one foot in front of the other and the more pieces I did, the more people I met and had some contacts and it just grew. When I first started, I, I should have had it all figured out where it was going to go, but I don't think I did. I just started and kept on going and knew that I wanted to do some bigger projects and so I wanted to do big projects. So that was a goal, but at first I was just trying to get trying to hustle some work because I didn't, I hadn't known Houston for that long because I hadn't lived here. One of the things about my work is I love doing different research for those, those situations. Clients have different tastes. Some people like monotone, some people like vibrant colors. So I like working with those um, different situations and making it very specific to that person. I felt that lighthouse, a lighthouse is a beacon of light and, and it's sort of a double entendre with light, which is what this is about, the glass and house. So lighthouse glass. It feels good to ship a piece to France or a piece to Guatemala. Um, it's really nice to work locally. I mean, I love Houston, I love the diversity of it, and my projects are diverse, and, and so I'll do any window that, that has an opening. I just like making stained glass and fused glass. I wouldn't live anywhere else except in Montrose. I love Montrose. The people, the different kinds of architecture, it's just a great part of the city.